The book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 10. Hear the word which Yahweh speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh, do not learn the way of the nations and do not be awed by the signs of the heavens, for the nations are awed by them. For the laws of these peoples are worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest, work for the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool. They beautify it with silver and gold. They strengthen it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. They are like a rounded post and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them for they do no evil nor is it in them to do any good. There is none like you, O Yahweh. You are great and great is your name in might. Who would not fear you, O sovereign of the nations? For this is your due, for among all the wise men of the nations and in all their reigns, there is none like you. They are both brutish and foolish, and instruction of worthlessness is the tree. Silver is beaten into plates. It is brought from Tarshish and gold from Euphaz, the work of the craftsmen and of the hands of the smith. Draped in blue and purple, all of them are the work of skilled ones. But Yahweh is truly Elohim. He is the living Elohim and the everlasting sovereign. At his wrath, the earth shakes and nations are unable to stand his displeasure. Say to them this, the Elah that did not make the heavens or the earth shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he makes his voice heard, there is a roaring of waters in the heavens and he makes vapors rise from the ends of the earth. The lightnings for rain he has made and brings wind from his treasuries. Everyone is brutish in knowledge. Every smith is put to shame by his idol. For his molded image is falsehood, and there is no spirit in them. They are worthless, a work of mockery. In the time of their punishment, they perish. The portion of Yaakov is not like these, for he is the maker of all, and Yisrael is the tribe of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground, you who live under siege. For thus said Yahuwah, See, at this time I am hurling out the inhabitants of the land, and shall distress them so that they feel it. Woe to me for my breaking! My wound is grievous, but I say, this is my sickness, and I bear it. My tent has been ravaged, and all my cords have been broken. My children have gone from me, and they are no more. There is no one to pitch my tent anymore, or to set up my curtains. For the shepherds have become brutish, and they have not sought Yahuwah. Therefore, they did not understand, and all their flock scattered. See, it has come the voice of a report and a great shaking out of the land of the north to make the cities of Yauda a waste, a habitation of jackals. O oh, Yahweh, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not for man who walks to direct his own steps. O oh, Yahweh, chastise me, but with right ruling, not in your displeasure, lest you bring me to naught. Pour out your wrath on the nations who do not know you and on the tribes who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Yaakov, devoured him and consumed him and laid waste his home. Mm -hmm.